Assalamu alaikum. This is Jahangir and you are watching Medical and Nursing Lectures. Dear learners, today we are going to start a new video series of Medical and Surgical Nursing for the students of 2nd and 3rd year Diploma General Nursing. So please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get new updates from our site. So introduction of Medical and Surgical Nursing. First of all, we have to tell you overview of the medical and surgical nursing. Chapters are included in this course are overview of gastrointestinal system and GIS disorder, overview of respiratory system and respiratory system disorders. Remember that discussing the diseases of any system, first of all, we have to review the anatomy and physiology of their system. So by this way, we will be able to learn very well. The second thing is, the third thing is overview of musculoskeletal system and disorders of musculoskeletal system, overview of cardiovascular system and disorders of cardiovascular system, and we have to discuss the overview of nervous system and disorders of nervous system. We have also the overview of ENT and disorders of ENT overview of skin and disorders of skin we will discuss the uh, blood and blood disorders uh, and the last thing is cancer and different types of cancer a common question which arises among the nursing students is that how to study MSN so as you know that the uh, name of this subject is medical and surgical nursing so medical is related with the medicine so to learn about the any medicine you have to remember the name of medicine there are two names two types of name of the uh, any medicine one is called trade name or company name and the second one is called generic name another thing which you should know about the medicine is indication of medicine that in which kind of circumstances I have I have to give the medicine to my patient what is the correct dose of the medicine frequency of medicine that how often I should give the medicine to my patient in a day what are the side effects of medicine side effects mean the unwanted effects of medicine what are the contraindication contraindication mean all those Contraindication mean that all, uh, in uh, circumstances in which you have, you don't have to give the medicine to the patient. And what are the interaction of the medicine with the other medicine or with the food? Rights of medicine. There are five basic rights of the medicines. Among them, the first one is right medicine. You have to give right medicine to the patient. You don't have to give wrong medicine to your patient. You have to select your the right patient. You don't have to. You shouldn't have to give the medicine to a wrong patient or to another patient. You should give the medicine at right time. Your selection of route should be right. If the medicine is oral, so you shouldn't give that IV, but you should follow the doctor order is per oral and uh, last thing is right dose don't give over dose medicine or below the dose medicine as you know that the name of the subject is medical and surgical nursing so the next thing is surgical inside the surgical there are two types of surgical management the one is called pre-operative and the second one is called post-operative surgical pre-operative mean before the surgery so what kind of surgical management you are giving to the patient before the surgery and that there is the patient head to toe examination so how you do the head to toe examination? First of all, you assess the GCS of the patient. That how much my patient is conscious is. So to evaluate the GCS of the patient, you should know about the three things. First, 
one is this the eye contact of the patient the second one is the uh, does my patient is obeying the com command or, or not and what uh, does my uh, the second one was the uh, does my patient is obeying command or not and the third one is how conscious is my patient is how the verbal response of my patient sign uh, vital signs of the patient informed consent for the surgery the, mu the, the nurse must sure about uh, this that the surgeon has taken uh, the consent from the patient or the attendant for the surgery IO charting blood arrangement all concerned investigations to be done and which there could be electrolytes there could be CBC or any other thing and marking the operative sites another thing is post operative surgical management again you should uh, uh, you should do the head to toe examination of the patient and that the first thing is gcs most of the post operative patients all those patient uh, which they come after the surgery to you you should assess the gcs of the patient that your patient is conscious or unconscious second thing you should assess the vital signs of the patient I have a charting, pain management, looking for the drainage bags, if any. Another thing which uh, which arises among the student uh, that how to study a disease. So to know about the disease, first of all, you should define the disease. The second thing is pathophysiology. Pathophysiology means patho mean abnormality and physiology mean function so what kind of abnormality occur and the functions in the normal functions so by this way you will be able to know about the disease very well and what are the clinical features of the disease mean it what are the signs and symptoms of the disease sign mean all those things which you observe inside the patient and symptoms mean all those things which the patient tell you what are the causes of the disease what are the types of disease what are the possible investigations for the uh, disease for example y you need to uh, take the patient for x-ray you need to uh, take the CBC of the patient uh, and so on management lastly uh, you have to manage the patient so how you m uh, manage the patient and inside the management there are two things one is called medical management medical mean uh, the uh, management of patient through medicine and the second thing is nursing management some diseases having surgical management so you should also fo follow that